We're going to take a look at the next few tools for Pixlr. And by now, after completing the Ed Puzzle, you should know how to open an image, how to crop an image, how to save an image, as well as a couple other little tools along the way. But we're going to get into what you can really do with Pixlr uh, once you learn what the different tools are that are available. So uh, you're going to go to the top of the page where you found this video. It's called Pixlr Video Tutorials. And right at the top there, it says, click here for the images I use in each video. And at the top of that page that it links to, you're going to see an image of a dog um, with its head tilted. So you're going to um, open that image in a new tab and copy the address of that image. So uh, I'm just going to pull that over here and show you what I'm talking about. So here is that page with all the images. And then open the dog in its own tab and copy that web address or the image address. It's OK, and then go back to Pixlr and click load URL. You'll probably have to scroll down to find that, paste the address, click load. There you go. All right, so we're going to take this dog's head and we're actually going to put it onto the body of a doll. So on that same page where the, you found the dog, you're also going to find this doll. So you're going to do the same thing, open the image in a new tab, copy the image address, go back to Pixlr. But this time you're going to go to File, Open Image URL. And then when you paste that, click Load. Now you have the doll. And you can switch between them by simply clicking on the names at the top of the window here. But we're going to, we're going to start with the dog. I can close that. OK, so we're going to use a tool called the Lasso. And the Lasso is located right below your Move tool. And you can see in the description of it that you can also use the keyboard shortcut of simply an L. No control, no shift, just L. And that will select it. And then once you have it selected up at the top of the screen, you'll see that there's some different options for your lasso. You've got the free, which is what we're going to use, polygon, bezier, which is how that's pronounced. I know it looks like bezier, but it's bezier, and magnetic. Um, and then some different modes, which I'm not really going to mess with in this explanation. Um, so let's just get started with the free lasso. And the way this works is you get your little crosshairs. And if you click and drag, you basically can draw around what you want to select. So if I wanted to select the whole dog, I could do something like that. But I don't. I want just the dog's head. So we're going to start like around his right ear here on the left side of the image and just click and drag and go around his left ear on the right side there and pull this around. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be kind of close. And then when you let go, you'll get those marching ants like the uh, instructor of the first video in the Ed Puzzle talked about. And now that part of the image is selected. So I could move it around. Okay, I could resize it. But what we're going to do is we're going to copy. Okay, so just like before, copy, and then go to the doll image. Okay, and then paste. You'll notice, okay, that actually it doesn't, not that bad, but it's just kind of tilted to the side. So we're going to have to mess with that a little bit. Once you paste that, then um, you get these different options here in the corners. So you can resize this. This is called transforming. But as you're doing that, notice it kind of gets distorted. So if you hold the shift key in while you resize that and move it, it will keep the same proportions and keep it from um, getting messed up. Also, at the top, there's this little dot. And if you click that, you can rotate that. And you can kind of get it a little bit more even. <laughs> and there we go. We've got the dog's head on top of the doll's body. And you can press Enter to make that final, or you can simply click away from it and it will be in two separate layers. Now, before we do anything else, I want to talk about um, your layers. So over here on the right side of the screen, now yours might look a little bit different than mine. If yours does look different, um, you can click on this little line right here, and it'll switch between um, your different options for that. And you can also click on um, this button right here. So that's going to allow you to either make it disappear altogether make them look like mine did, 
or this, this is probably what yours looked like when you opened it up. We want it to look like this. And to rename a layer, all you got to do is just right click on it and then change it. So instead of this being image.png, I'm going to change this to dog because that's what it is. And instead of this being background, I'm going to title this dog because that's what that is. It's always good to name your layers, especially when you're going to get into more difficult stuff and you're going to need to know what's what. And um, if you decided that you needed to make a change to this dog's head, you'd want to make sure you have that layer selected. You can click on it, you can move it around, resize it. And if you want to do something with the doll, you'd have to click on that one. Um, now, I did want to show you one other quick thing about um, the lasso tool. And that is, if you go back to the dog uh, and we press Control D to deselect it, and then go back to your lasso, and choose the magnetic one. Now, this if when this works, it's amazing. Um, it won't always work, but when it does, it's really, really, really cool. So the way this works is it tries to figure out what you are selecting, and it will actually, just like a magnet, it will stick to the edges. So it has figured out that I don't want that green background. I want the dog and the different colors of the dog. And look at that. It selects almost right up to the edges of the dog. Now I can copy that, go back to the doll. I'm going to actually trash this layer. And I'm going to paste that new one. Look how much better that looks. And again, I can, um, can move it around. But notice that, whoops, um, this time I don't have the option of like resizing it and stuff. Like the lasso is still turned on. So if you ever need to resize something that isn't already giving you that option, you can simply go to the edit menu and choose free transform. And then you can resize it. Um, and if you go to the corners, beyond the corner, see how it turns to these like little curvy arrows, then that's how you would rotate. And this time when you're using free transform, you do not need to press and hold shift while you're resizing. If you do press and hold shift, this is a little confusing. If you press and hold shift while you're resizing, now it's going to distort it all kinds of ways. So play around with the lasso tool. Play around with copy and paste. Try out both the free lasso and the magnetic lasso. And don't forget, if you need to resize something, um, you can click edit and free transform. And to change the name of a layer, which you should always do, you just right click on it or two finger click and then type the name of the layer and press enter. Let me know if you have any questions about any of those tools.